Hello everybody. Good afternoon or early evening, depending on where you are. Uh, welcome to the Women in Brasswood Facebook page. Uh, this is a lesson, uh, this is a demonstration on the benefits of low volume drum practice, uh, which there's a lot of great features and benefits. So we'll give people maybe a minute or so to join uh, into the room. Thank you again for tuning in. I thought maybe while we're waiting for people, I'd start with my top three drummer jokes. Who doesn't like one of those, right? <laughs> um, I'll start off with the classic that probably most people know the answer to, but um, write them in the comments quickly if you, uh, if you think of them. I'll give you like maybe four seconds, five seconds after each one. Uh, how can you tell a drummer is at the door? The knocking speeds up. Not sure if I, uh, someone put that in there. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's a classic one. Always um, does a good job. Second one, what is the last thing a drummer says in a band? He says, can we try one of my songs? Um, funny, but not exactly true. Um, those of you out there that are drummers or just music musicians in general know uh, there are countless uh, drummers and percussionists that have composed and uh, released their own music. Larnell Lewis from Snarky Puppy, Dave Weckl from the Dave Weckl Band, Dave Grohl, a couple people might have heard of him. He's done some amazing things as well. Um, so we do, we do accomplish that. The third one, and this is my favorite and probably because it's the most true, um, every drummer or anyone that's ever been in a band will relate to this one pretty truthfully. What's the biggest lie ever told to drummers. And that would be, hang on, I'll help you with your gear. Right? Before a show, after a show, we're the first ones in to a venue, we're the last ones out. Um, no matter what any of your bandmates uh, or your colleagues say, they can't do it without us. So just remember that. Uh, if you're just tuning in, thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Tony, you're on the Woman Nebraska Wind Facebook page. And this lesson is going to be about the benefits of low volume drum practice. And it might be obvious kind of what that is on the surface, right? Drums are inherently a louder instrument than, say, a flute, a clarinet, a trumpet, a acoustic guitar, um, for all things it's considered. But there are some ways that you can significantly reduce the overall volume of your drum kit at home, especially in times like these, but not just now. Uh, if you have uh, younger family members at home, if you are just, uh, if you live in an apartment, uh, a townhouse, or you just overall need to decrease the volume of your drums overall, I'm going to show you some fantastic products uh, that you can get a hold of as early as today, however, um, um, however that works. So the first one I want to talk about is how loud a drum kit can be in its acoustic format or in its natural fitting. And a regular drum kit can exceed 100 decibels, uh, which to give you that in a comparison of a everyday object, um, that's a chainsaw. Not that people are using chainsaws every day, hopefully, um, unless you're in that profession. Motorcycles, uh, jackhammers on construction sites. So really, really significant um, items that can impair your hearing after a very, very short amount of exposure. Uh, a low volume kit, on the other hand, which is what you'll see here, which is comprised of uh, these Zildjian low volume cymbals and these Evans sound off mesh uh, drum heads, can bring that down to as low as 85 decibels. And if you compare that to an everyday item, that's a dishwasher running, even in your car and on the highway, that can be up to 85 decibels. Um, so still not uh, overbearingly loud where it's going to do damage to your hear to your ear uh, your hearing in a short sustained amount of time uh, but up to 80 percent quieter when you think of noise and decibel comparisons it's not the same as temperature so depending on where in the country you're at right now um, uh, if it's 60 degrees outside and 65 degrees outside that's just a slight elevation uh, but 100 decibels is eight times louder than 85 decibels i'm sorry uh, 70 70 decibels so that comparison of 30 decibels is eight times as loud um, when you're comparing the average um, drum kit to a low volume drum kit. So I want to first do some comparisons. Um, I've got a couple drums around that I thought, but um, actually first forgot. 
this is how drummers typically right now have to um, bring the volume reduction drum, uh, down on their drums. Uh, if before these products a couple of years ago, this is how they would have had to do it. Get a t-shirt over there. Just actually, let's put this, let's put that on that for this demonstration and then we'll take, everyone's got extra blankets, right? We'll take this and throw it on the rest of the kit, see how much we can get covered up and then we'll kind of play it. Now, obviously I don't have standard acoustic uh, drum heads and cymbals on here, traditional cymbals, but I'll kind of give you an idea just visually. <laughs> So just playing on that for five seconds, I already have something that's falling off. So this might bring down your volume significantly from an acoustic kit, but the question that you as a musician need to ask yourself is how does this inspire creativity? You know, when you're, when you're, when you're sitting in your, in your drum throne and you see cotton blankets and cotton t-shirts draped over your instrument, how does that help inspire you to play creatively um, you know if you're listening to a track on with headphones on how do you put yourself in the place of a drummer that's done this recording and uh, and, and help yourself play to a higher level it's really difficult to do that so with the products that a couple of manufacturers have come out in recent years um, does exactly that so I'll give uh, one demonstration first I'll start with the, the low volume symbol so I'll bring this up close a little bit just so you could see. This has the shape and profile of a regular symbol, uh, except it has thousands of perforations um, and mass removed from it, which brings down the overall volume and sustain of the symbol. So because you don't have all of the mass and characteristics of it, that's what bring down, brings down the volume. So I'll show you what this sounds like. So that's at pretty much full volume. And now I'll demonstrate a standard, I'll call it a traditional symbol. This is what you would see uh, on your drum kit um, in any type of setting there. Turn down your speakers a little bit if you're worried about how this sounds. And that's really playing at maybe half capacity. So not even, I'm not even laying into this thing um, trying to draw out a lot of volume of it uh, from it and it's just inherently this is what it was designed to do it was designed to be uh, this loud to have this amount of sustain to have this amount of shimmer to it and just resonance overall so I'll just kind of compare them A and B uh, for you really here one more time So what this is going to allow you to do is you're going to be able to play more naturally uh, versus if you're really trying to be quiet playing on an acoustic kit, you're going to have to what I call tickle, tickle the drums and cymbals and play really lightly. But that requires so much energy and focus to not make as much noise. So this allows you to play a lot more naturally because you're not having to worry. This, this, this low volume cymbal is not going to get louder than it was designed to do. It's not going to get any louder than that. Now let's try the same example on a drum. Here I've got a 12 inch uh, rack tom and I didn't have a, another 12 inch rack tom if you can believe it sitting around that would have been a similar comparison. So I have a 13 which will do the trick. So this is a traditional 13 inch tom. Really didn't lay into it that much, right? And now here's the low volume uh, sound off mesh drum head. So 
So I'm not sure if you can hear, there's actually a little bit of resonance coming from that bottom head because if you leave that bottom head on here, the sound is going to travel when you strike the drum head, the mesh head, travel through, bounce off of the bottom head into the shell and have a little bit of a resonance tone. So it's not like you're just hearing a dead thud and it's just, you know, it feels like a rubber pad would be. Um, so you actually get some tonality into it. So again, a perfect solution for practicing in an apartment, townhouse, uh, even a rehearsal studio where you just need to be quiet, your housemates are sleeping. Um, it's a lot better than stretching a t-shirt over a cymbal and a blanket over the rest of your kit. Uh, bar none, you can't beat it. Uh, anywhere you want to play and not be loud, uh, this is where this is where this is going to come in. Now, some of you might be thinking electronic kits, that's a perfect you know, gateway to solve the problem of drums that are just too loud. That's true to an extent, but if you're if you're a younger drummer uh, that's just learning and you need to really get your technique down of how a cymbal responds and how a drum responds, you're going to you're going to learn that a lot more efficiently by going this route versus a rubber pad or plastic pad on an electronic kit that doesn't really give you a lot of feel back. And now those are cool if that's what you have. Uh, trust me, it's better than nothing, but if you're really trying to develop your, uh, your technique, um, this, this is the way to go about this. As a matter of fact, if you uh, take lessons, um, a lot of times you'll see drummers, uh, teachers actually using this style of setup because they can talk. They can talk over themselves when they're playing instead of having to play for a while, stop and explain what they're doing, play for a while. fine if you're sitting right next to me you can hear exactly what I'm saying as you explain a technique as you explain a variation or uh, moving uh, uh, fluid around the kit you know it's a lot easier to teach as well so authentic feel resonance and tone so you don't you you, do, you don't sacrifice um, sound um, you can re even remove that bottom head we were talking about if you really need to bring the volume down um, that'll decrease the resonance only if you're like really in a situation where you have to be even more quieter and trust me You know, we've all been in those cases. So if you do need to decrease the volume even more um, You can even put tape on the bottom of the cymbal to decrease the resonance and sustain you could take off the bottom head um, Now these are just drum heads that replace your standard acoustic. So this is the this is the Remo silent stroke um, So this is just a, a different version of the the Evans uh, what these are, these are one-ply mesh heads that are simply designed to play in a lower volume. So this replaces the traditional head that would go on to uh, your drum. And obviously the cymbals uh, replace uh, the, the traditional um, cymbals from, from your kit as well. So um, if you have any questions, in, uh, please place them in the comments. I can't see it from my phone right now, but I'll definitely go through and answer them personally. Uh, if you do have any questions, but, you know, I can't say enough about the benefits of, of, of playing uh, if you're a drummer. If you know a drummer, if you are a drummer, you're a parent of a drummer, you have friends, please um, share this video with them. Um, there's, there's just really no limit to your creativity. You're, you no longer can use that as an excuse of, I'm, I, I'm making too much noise. Well, I can't practice. Now you can. We got you. You know, the drum industry, thankfully... Uh, responded to the call that when I grew up I couldn't do so I had to choose to do this uh, to do the towel or the uh, the blanket thing um, which wasn't um, 
which wasn't ideal. So again, uh, just a couple product callouts. This is the Zildjian low volume or L80 uh, symbol. You can buy these in uh, separately if you just want to get started and buying a crash, or if you buy them in packs, you can save a little bit of money. This is the 14, uh, 14 high hat, 16 inch crash, and 18 inch crash ride. So if you search Zildjian low volume uh, on the Wubin Nebraska site, you'll find that right away. This is the Evans Sound Off, one word, Evans Sound Off Mesh drum head. There's also the Remo Silent Stroke. Silent Stroke is one word. Um, and I'm playing just on, a, on my standard Pearl Export kit uh, that I've had for years, and it, it does just fine. So um, if, you're, if you're also checking out the page, uh, my colleagues have done a couple uh, fantastic demos with some different topics. So if you go to our video link, uh, our video page within the Wubben and Brassman page, you'll see some awesome topics that they've done the past couple of days. Please check that out. Uh, if you're willing and able to support any of the performing arts uh, artists in this time as well, buy an album, uh, check out someone's page, take a lesson from them. Um, you're definitely going to help be helping a lot of it, a lot of people out. So definitely support the performing arts uh, at this time if you can. Uh, I'll just play a little bit more just so you can hear a little bit around the kit. I really hope you enjoyed and this you found this helpful. And uh, thanks again for tuning in and stay tuned. Pretty much. Uh, I want to say more than a few times a week we're going to be doing these things live. So please tune in. Put any comments you have in, the, um, in, the, in that section if you want to hear or speak to a certain topic. If you're wondering, hey, how do I uh, accomplish this with um, a brass instrument? There's, there's solutions for that. Anything you want us to, to talk about, definitely do that and we'll, we'll get to it as soon as we can. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.